Good morning, dear students. So, good morning. Good morning, good morning dear teacher. Teacher. Let's start our lesson. I have given you a home task for today, yes? Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. What was your home task? Writing, writing an essay. essay. Writing an essay. Uh -huh. What was the theme? Uh, different uh, themes uh, in each student. He had, given us, he had given us about 50 scenes. Yes. Uh -huh. uh, to choose, yes? Yes. yes. Uh -huh. So, yes. so did, you, did you work together in pairs or separately? Separately. Separately. So, yes. there are a lot of, um, I mean, there are different themes, yes? Yes. Okay. yes. So, let's start from... From whom? Whom? Yeah, from whom? It is better to start. I want to. Okay, Nazirke. So Nazirke is raising your hand. Okay. Nazirke, do you need? Uh, do you want to demonstrate something? Um, maybe yes. Maybe yes. Okay, I will give you permission to you to demonstrate your screens. Okay, so you have permission to demonstrate. Uh, so today's my theme is about reading for pleasure. We should write uh, essay and prepare some tasks. Mm -hmm. And so reading for pleasure. Reading has at all times and all, in all ages been a source for knowledge, of happiness, of pleasure, and even courage. Reading plays a very important role in the life of people. It educates person, enriches his intellect, books help to mold a person's character, his moral values. Besides, books bring pleasure and delight. Through reading books, we hear their voices, thoughts, and feelings. The book is the surest way to bring nations together. It helps people achieve uh, understanding, trust, cooperation, and friendship. Reading a good book takes you in a new world and helps you relieve your day-to-day -day stress. It has several positive effects on your mind, body, and soul. It stimulates your brain muscles and keeps your brain healthy and strong. When I read a book, I read it for pleasure. I just indulge myself in reading and experience a whole new world. Once I start reading a book, I get to keep quiet and I never want to leave it until I finish. It always gives a lot of pleasure to read a good book and cherish it for a lifetime. I often see people reading electronic books in metro or listening to audiobooks. I think it's a great way too. It's just not for everyone. My eyes to cut tight every fast when I read and e-books, electronic books. I don't really catch everything when I'm listening to audiobooks. I like holding a book, smelling it, and turning the pages. I love old books, most of all those that you can get all the library or up on the of father's shelves. Even when I just turn the pages, I enjoy it. And when the book is interesting, I don't even notice the time and live in the world of the book. There are many types of reading, read aloud, shade reading, guide reading, fluency reading, and independent reading. Read aloud is a way that we read, and this is also one of the ways of teaching, especially for the blind student and the preschool, preschool student. For shade reading is a group of people shade their idea, knowledge, and experience from what they have read. And guided reading is someone has to be guided in their study to become more independent. Here mean that students learn or read something but guided by tutor. Fluency reading is how fluent someone is who are you reading. If he or she can read faster than mean or she already fluent in reading on the he or she in the reading work hard because they still not fluent in reading. Independent reading is someone that already fluent in reading. This kind of people now no need guide anymore. However, all of times, all of these must practice every day and this was behavior in reading. 
It also can be known as reading habits. Reading habits can be described as someone's hobbies. He or she make reading as his or be hobbies, and this must be regularly read. I can't imagine my life without reading. Except a living man, there is nothing more so wonderful than the book, said one clever man. And I share his opinion. Books teach us what is right and what is wrong to understand the world and people in it. They rule, they mold our character, and at the same time, tell us exciting stories. And here are some uh, question tasks, uh, basic uh, questions according to um, today's essay. Mm -hmm. so, so first I think question. we have some mistake uh, on your first question. Is it okay? Are you fond of First, reading? Ah, uh, it's here. Yes, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Sorry. It means, do you like reading? Yes? Yes. Okay, so... So, speak about your questions. Are you fond of reading? First question. Mm -hmm. Address it to your group mates, yes? I think. Yes, address my group mates. Mm -hmm. So... You can answer short answer. <clears throat> the students try to give answer. Diana. Yes, of course. Uh, I think all of us uh, loves reading because reading <clears throat> will be uh, will improve, will develop our minds, our uh, imagination also. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's one. Uh, reading is so useful for learning English or foreign language. Mm -hmm. okay. okay, Diana. Thank you. Diana, can you hear me, Diana? Yes, teacher. No, pay attention to your uh, verbs endings uh, when you are using a uh, plural form of personal pronouns. I love, yeah. he loves, she loves, it loves, we love, they love, and we all, all of us, love mm -hmm. yeah. did you did you understand your mistake diana i think yes, yes i hope you did okay thanks a lot now the next question in your opinion is reading is useful why uh -huh. in your opinion is reading is useful is reading useful why that's okay correct your question please is reading useful because we cannot use uh, is oh, yeah. twice in in one sentence. Okay, so mm -hmm. Dana. Yes. Answer the question, please. Okay. Uh, in my opinion, uh, is useful because um, in your we opinion, are... reading is useful. Why? Because. Um, it's um, uh, reading is uh, useful because our vocabulary and uh, our imagination was um, improved um, with this reading because when we read this um, book or text, we um, uh, imagine this um, uh, history, story, and uh, we have uh, new uh, words, new vocabulary in our um, books, in our mind. Okay, thanks a lot. Next question. Have you got a home library? Is your home library big or small? Mm -hmm. May I am answer this question? Uh, yes, uh, I have got a, a home library, but I know, but I cannot uh, say that it's it's very big because I think that every educated people should have a library and uh, they should read because reading uh, we can say it's not only uh, we use reading for learn something, but also we can say that it's one of the part of entertainment. It's why um, it's useful and uh, neat for every person. Mm -hmm. Thanks a lot. Next question. Uh, types of reading. Okay, I also what mentioned. What kind of types of reading can do I you know? Can I answer? Who would mm -hmm. like to give Nabat. an answer? Nabat, can I? Ah, Nabat Tashkambayla. Types of reading. Uh, as Nazirka said, there are many types of reading. For there example, are many types read of love. reading. Yes, I read a lot, shared reading, uh, guys reading, fluent reading. 
and the independent treaty. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You're right. Thank you. Next okay, question. Next question. What is a shade reading? How do you understand? May I answer? Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, shared reading, in my opinion, is an uh, interactive reading experience that occurs when students uh, join in um, or share the reading of a book and or other text while guided and supported supported by a teacher. Mm -hmm. Yes. Right. Yeah. Shared idea. And, uh, knowledge. Yes. Shared idea of others. Yes. Thank you. Okay, and who would like to continue? Pre last question. Mm -hmm. Last question. Do you read ebooks, electronic books? Is it comfortable? Why and why not? May I answer? Yes, yes you may. please. I think that uh, reading ebooks is not more comfortable than reading real books. I sometimes read ebooks when I don't have a real book in my hands. That is why. Um, I read ebooks when I need it, really, but I prefer reading real books because it's more comfortable. Also, ebooks are reading through the computer or through the uh, screen or the telephone may harm our health, our eyes. That is why I don't think that it's convenient. Mm -hmm. May I add something? Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, we have uh, one more question, yes? Okay. Mm -hmm. No, in this question, I want, want to, to add something. Do you like to add something? Okay, yes, you may. Uh, from my point of view, ebooks is not a phones or like uh, our laptops. It's a uh, it's a uh, different things. Uh, I have um, in my house. I have uh, ebooks. Uh, this is a thing um, using for your readings. And uh, it's it's not my in my hand because it's my brothers and they also read ebooks and uh, he said it's very comfortable for reading like uh, books. That is why yes, it it's like very a, comfortable. I think it looks like a big planchet, but yes, it, uh, it in looks, fact looks it's cool. also a type of smartphone like that. You also read through the screen. Yes. Okay, but do we have word planchette in English language? I think planchette is not English word. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. We can use net netbook, notebook. Okay. So thanks a lot. Okay. okay. Last, the last question. question. Yes. Uh, have you got books which you've read? several times and what are their titles what are their titles mm -hmm. can i yes please uh, books are worth reading uh, i have read, read uh, multiple books some of them uh, are so uh, special that i read uh, no choice but uh, to review them again uh, i have read them twice or sometimes um, even uh, uh, because the book was simply able to drive me close to itself uh, and make me and made me feel good, uh, relaxed, and enlightened. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay, so. thanks a lot. So, Nazirke, thank you very much mm -hmm. for your it's on me, I continue. essay. Oh, okay, Sultan by Myra, continue, please. Mm -hmm. So my uh, essay is about hobbies and nature. Places yeah. differ. Different people like doing different things. Different people have different hobbies. I have read that there are 10 and 19 personal interests and ways to spend one's free time. You are lucky if you have a hobby because life becomes more interesting. We choose a hobby according to our character and the taste. Hobbies are divided into four large classes. 
doing things, making things, collecting things, and learning things. I think the most popular of all hobbies is doing things. It includes a wide variety of activities, everything from gardening to traveling and uh, uh, jogging, swimming, and, and from shoes to volleyball. Many people go in for sports. It's a hobby. They go jogging, swimming, skating, skiing, training in clubs and the different sections. Gardening is one of the oldest of men's hobbies. It's well known fact that the English are very fond of gardening or growing flowers, especially roses. Playing computer games is a relatively new hobby, but it's becoming more and more popular. Both grown ups and the children found it. I think that's a very exciting hobby. Certainly, it's interesting who the winner will be. Making things includes drawing, painting, making sculpture, design customs, handcrafts, writing music, or playing different musical instruments. For example, the former president of the USA plays the saxophone, President Ashton Howard and Sir Winston were amateur painters. Collecting things is one of the most popular kinds of hobbies. Almost everyone collects something uh, at some period in his life. People usually collect stamps, coins, match boxes, books, records, postcards, toys, watches. Some collections have no real value. Others become so large and valuable that they are housed in museums and uh, galleries. Many world famous collections started in a small way with one or two items. Learning things is one of the kinds of hobbies and one of the aspects of all hobbies. Learning things can include reading, learning foreign language, and so on. Learning things can also by reading about the things a person is interested in. It's the most exciting aspect of a hobby. And uh, there is a uh, have vocabulary with translation uh, from Mm -hmm. And uh, also there is a uh, uh, 50 uh, questions is about uh, hobbies with this text. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm. thanks a lot. Yes. So do we need to work on questions? Mayra, how do you think? Yes. No, I think I think I think it's we don't we don't time. need all we need time. to do is to make an analysis, I think. Oh no. Mm. So no. only five questions. No, Mayra. Uh, let's yes. work about the structure of the of your essay. Uh, I would like to find out introduction, enumerations. Yes. Uh, uh, in my essays, you have a lot of uh, uh, interactions. Introductions. A lot of introductions Inter are there. Yes. I think there should be only one introduction. Yes, only one. No, introduction is one. Uh, but uh, conjunctions have zero, many. Conjunctions? Yes. Enumerations. Enumerations and also, mm. uh, for example, doing things, making things, and uh, swimming, jogging, skating, skiing. Mm -hmm. What about cause and effects? Uh, in this essay, it's not uh, um, cause and effect. There is no cause and effects. Yes. Okay. I think it's our uh, own uh, ideas. And, uh, it's not a problem, as there is no uh, problem. Where? Mabat? Uh, what do you want to say? But you said you just prepare essays and uh, wrote tasks. Uh, without, a... without any components, yes? Yes, yes, yes. Just okay. wrote this and wrote tasks. Is okay, that... thanks a lot then. Okay. Excuse me, I am very sorry for asking to say about the components, to ask the materials that I have been teaching you through my lesson. <laughs> May I continue, teacher? Okay, yes, Uldana. Mayra, thanks a lot.
Our planet. Our we planet. Live, yes. Okay. We live in a wonderful and a beautiful world. Everything is dependent and connected here. There are beautiful places on our planet. Interesting animals and birds. Strange plan plants. Our planet Earth is an uh, unique and there, uh, there is nothing similar in, anymore. We uh, well actually people think there are other planet uh, planets in space where life can exist, but nobody can prove it. Excuse me. Excuse me, Albana. Could you please uh, enlarge your presentation? Really? Yes. Uh, Open you may also click the button in the left, in the right corner here. And just the blue means plus one. Посмотра, okay. Yes. Кратность масштабирования, you mean? Yes, not so on both sides. I stop percent again. Throw is only размер the same scale keep correct. Ah, yeah. Okay. Thanks a lot. It's okay now. Albana, you may continue. Okay. There are mountains and the oceans, rivers and the deserts, beautiful sunsets and the sunrises in our world. That is why I think that our planet is so unusual. Our planet exists for a few million years and hopefully it will exist a few more millions. Our planet has seen many animals and the plants that don't live anymore. The, the earth surrounds the sun and every year it makes new crickles. The sun gives us light and warmth. That is why our planet is alive. The other planets are too far or too close to the sun. That is why we think there are no more other planets with people and animals on. Our planet is not only uh, one, it's a universal, but is supposedly uh, the only one which uh, is inhabited by living uh, creatures. Creatures. We have all the necessary resources uh, to live a happy life, clean water, fresh air, good nature, table plants. However, during the last century, most saints are worried that nature is under danger. Uh, those people and uh, all the living uh, creatures and the surround us are also in the dread. The water in the global ocean is not so uh, so clean anymore due to human reckless ac actions. Many useful plants are being cut down for creating newer uh, industrial areas. Some animal species are disappearing, disappearing from the surface of, of the earth, and that's sort of full. Knowing these people from all the ex existing countries should uh, remember that, that we are race frig fragile. The human race can usually vanish reading such a reckless and a carefree life. That is why uh, certain groups of intelligent people build new eco towns which was uh, green space, zero carbon uh, car free zones, uh, pedestrian and the kickle friend. Uh, Sizeable friendly areas, wrestling uh, faculties, and the many other environmentally friendly goods. Other, uh, other than that, lots of work is done to make housing in such town or settlement affordable. Affordable. I would also like to add some facts about our plants and its uh, features. First of all, it's a proven. Um, that is the third planet from the sun. And the other interesting fact is that the Earth is the only planet which is not named after ancient gods or goddesses. And at the moment, there are seven other planets in the solar system based the Earth. For example, Mars, Venus, Jupiter, Saturn. Unfortunately, they are not on they are not well investigated by scientists as they are situated really far. 
and the questions um, tasks. Uh, choose the correct item questions and uh, um, read the beginning of the sentence and find it uh, and in the essay. Uh, complete the table with the words in the box, positive and the negative. Uh, these words we must um, uh, complete. Mm -hmm. So that's all, yes? And, uh, Yes, and I have an enumeration in my essay. Um, interesting animals and birds, strange plants, and also uh, clean water, fresh air, good and stable uh, plants. Uh, zero carbon, uh, it's enumeration in my uh, essay. Okay, thanks a lot, Aldana. Uh, you made a very uh, useful essay with its examples, exercises, uh, questions. So, dear students, um, take Udana's essay as a sample for your own. Okay? So, can just, I continue? just can I continue? questions is not enough. You should have at least two or three exercises according to your essays. So thanks a lot, Olana. Can I, can Diana. I continue? Diana, continue, please. After Diana, can I please? After Diana, I think we will have a break time. Okay. After yes. break time, you may okay. have a chance. I can't open this. Yeah, you can't open. What's the problem? I don't know. Oh, yes. <clears throat> My title of essay is You Are What You Wear. It's about clothes. Mm -hmm. So clothes is like your business card. People can find out who you are by your business card and they can find out what kind of person you are uh, by your clothes as there uh, as there are many types of style and clothing there are also many types of people for example there are types of uh, clothing like classic smart casual scruffy uh, elegant and the same they are type of uh, of people like aggressive, optimistic, uh, frivolous, easygoing, and cheerful. And each of these people choose clothes that look like themselves. And you can reveal the personality of this person by looking at his wearing. If he is a clean and pleasant person, then his image uh, will also look like him. And even each profession has its own forms. We can learn their professions by looking at their uniforms. For example, uh, teachers prefer classic uniforms and we recognize students using school uniforms and also clothing not only shows a person's personality and even show his thoughts, attitude and even character. Some people treat and respect others by looking at their clothes. If you wear the right clothes, then you look like the right person. Even when taking on a job, they look at their appearance, with, uh, with, which is why people try to dress well for their uh, interview. As pe people say, a person is colored by clothes. Everyone uh, wants to appear good and remain influential. Every country, country every nation has its own style, its own preference, uh, preferences for dressing. For example, Koreans prefer uh, hoodies and a loose clothing. The French like a skirt below the knees and the, or jeans. And uh, Muslims prefer closed clothing. And also from my point of view, fashion is not just about dressing well. 
and the taking care of clothes. It's more a question how, uh, of how a person can unite in one aspiration or become united in society. For me, uh, it's interesting to see how people perceive uh, fashion as a person. I believe the quote, you are what you wear, is entirely true because people express themselves as their and their feelings uh, through their clothes, hair, makeup, and accessories. I personally always look uh, to look, uh, I always like uh, to look my best because it gives a superior feeling about yourself and makes you uh, more confident I always uh, feel more confident about myself when I'm dressed up in clean clothes that are appreciate for the setting I am in. It's important to me to match my makeup and accessories to my outfit. I think that life is too short to wear boring clothes. Mm -hmm. So I have finished my uh, reading my essay. Here are questions. Hands up, so yes. Yes. Okay. So, Diana, I think uh, the language of your essay is a, a little bit complex. To... Complex? I think it's very simple. Mm -hmm. <laughs> for I wrote it for most six, in seven, my imagination. Eight, nine grade students. How do you think? Will it be uh, hard to read? For, for, for ninth grade, it's, yes, it's complex. It's normal, but for sixth and seventh grade, it's a very, uh, it's in a little bit complex. Mm -hmm. Dear students, I would like to remind, uh, to warn you about, to tell you about something. So when you are writing an essay, take into account the students who still study at schools, and pay attention to the language skills of the um, level at English language. So thanks a lot, Diana. Mm -hmm. How many minutes do we have till the end of the lesson? We have three minutes. So mm -hmm. right here, I would like to stop recording and I would like to give you another task. Mm 